I know we want to show you some other areas. Riverview flooding. A water in event, County. right? Right on cue. Yeah, Look at this. More, more of the issues right there, especially for those low profile vehicles, even more dangerous to take on water as quickly uh, as that can happen. That there water the up area. to that gentleman's knees right there. Uh, again, that is in Riverview. And we have more of this video, right? This continues to flow into our newsroom. Yeah, it's a water event. Much of uh, the area taking on that storm surge this morning. So we want to take you out to St. Pete, the St. Pete Pier this morning to give you some perspective of, of how much storm surge they're seeing in the area. Our Jenny Dean has been live up and down <coughs> Pinellas County. She was in downtown St. Pete a little earlier this morning. The pier itself doing OK. You know, it, it is definitely built to sustain the winds that we've seen and, and certainly is, is built high enough for this storm surge, but as you can see, the marina there area, I'm sure some boats uh, impacted by this in the area. I wanted to look to a reminder here. I think it was about five sure. feet of storm surge in the downtown area there. There's, take a look that's here. That's what it did to the boats there. Yeah. And it didn't it didn't take long for that to happen, but it's going to take some time for all that water to recede. Right. Our Neil Fisher has been live there. He was showing us perspective of this earlier this morning where this boat completely took on water, basically sunk there right at the marina. Uh, he said he saw about three boats in the area heavily damaged. Describing it as catastrophic, on right? I want to go a little bit farther south because there's more video I just told you just a moment ago to Sarasota. We've got some uh, Whereabouts? I'm sorry. Tampa. Oh, OK. Well, we have some flooding pictures in Tampa. Again, more of this video flowing into our newsroom. If we could pull that up, I want to give folks at home a perspective of what we're talking about. Look at those pictures right yeah, there. That, right on the river walk there, right on the Hillsboro River. We also saw Ashley Drive, Bayshore Boulevard impacted by the water. And and as we keep talking about this, this storm look surge not only is. bringing high levels of water, but look how rough that is, yes. too. Heavy, heavy uh, storm surge that is bringing, you know, not just standing water in the area. And the worst is uh, yet to come, right? So, and we have more of this video. Where are we going next? Cedar Key, we've got some flood video out there. I want to show you what's going on down there as well. Up on the hill. Okay, so you can see what the wind was doing to the situation, but uh, streets essentially becoming rivers there and water going up onto the porch of that home you just saw on the left side of your screen. That video, courtesy of Michael Presley Bobbitt. Uh, also more Look video right surf. there. Yeah. You see the white caps there and the uh, trees whipping in the wind. And we also have video from Gulfport this morning mm -hmm. too, where we've seen more boats impacted by this, this right, uh, Right on, we've got a lot of boats and moorings there in the Gulfport area too, but this storm surge bringing it in uh, much closer. You can see these sailboats, some basically on their side there by the rough surf. The Gulfport area inundated as well. And the person trying to walk, I assume, away from uh, that space and into a safer spot, but uh, video just like this all across the Tampa Bay area, essentially across much of Florida because of Hurricane Idalia, a Category 3 hurricane. Yeah, it helps gives you perspective just how strong these winds have been and how rough the surf has been. Of course, boats meant to be out on the water there, but they've been turned on their side. It's a live pick, right? Yes, the Courtney Campbell Causeway this morning, the eastbound lanes have been closed. As you can see, a live look here, a storm surge is impacted. We've seen the waves crashing over the bridge bringing with it you know, got seaweed sand you know sea life in the water it's uh, impacting the causeway this morning so that's impassable the eastbound side closed this morning the sunshine skyway is closed we've seen intermittent closures of the howard franklin as well a live look at downtown tampa too tgh certainly planned for this they put their floodgates up as well they're right there on the water and you can see just how high it is in aerial perspective yeah, and we talk about this all the time, right? And our reporters have been driving this point home, and for good reason. Uh, turn around, don't drown. We saw that with Jen Titus and her live shot. Somebody actually did that through it in reverse. Thankfully, their engine was not flooded out. They were able to get out of that situation. Amanda Papp is telling us it only takes a foot of water to really cause some damage to a vehicle. Only six inches of water that can sweep an individual off their feet, but also not the only threat there because you don't know if there's a uh, live wire in the water and Caitlin you just pointed this out uh, sea life you don't know what's in the water right and we've seen the waves crashing a little more calm right now a live look at the Howard Franklin Bridge the hump there on on the bridge uh, it, it is open now guys right Howard Franklin is it is, is it, it open, open? No. Remains closed. Okay, one side is closed. That remains the case for the Howard Franklin. Again, we've got 
Skyway closed. Eastbound lanes of the Courtney Campbell closed. Gandy Bridge has remained open throughout the morning. Uh, that's really the only bridge that hasn't been impact so, impacted so far. Northbound lanes of the Howard Franklin Bridge, they are closed due to the storm surge there. But as you can see from that live look, a little calmer there than what we saw on the causeway sure. where you can see uh, the seaweed, the sand, all has been crashed up over, over the side of the roadway. We yeah. had just really rough surf. Yeah.